Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this course on transition metal organ metallics in catalysis and biology. Continuing in our discussion in the previous class where we are talking about applications of transition metal organ metallics in catalysis particularly a, uh, in the areas of homogeneous as well as heterogeneous catalysis. We had uh, observed that these uh, applications uh, had uh, uh, been developed uh, not only in the laboratories of the academia, but many have also been parallelly developed uh, uh, in the laboratories of industry. And uh, you know uh, one thing about uh, this uh, field of transition metal organometallics that this is uh, a, a special uh, bond that academia uh, shares uh, with industry uh, and parallelly the development uh, of the field has been attained in both of these uh, platforms. Now with that in mind uh, uh, we were going to continue the discussion further and take up some more examples uh, which have been uh, developed uh, in uh, industry which is not so common uh, in other uh, fields where most of the developments or new ideas are, are developed in industry. So today I am going to talk about another such important development which has primarily or exclusively uh, been done in the uh, industry in the form of repe uh, synthesis. Uh, now there are uh, uh, several reactions uh, of in, uh, which have been developed uh, uh, at the industry like uh, uh, this uh, for hydroformylation, uh, the water gas shift reactions uh, and so on and so forth which has went on to become a big development uh, uh, in the industrial world, uh, olefin polymerization, uh, metathesis polymerization to some extent. Uh, so there has been a lot of uh, contribution from the industry uh, uh, in the development of a particular uh, area. And here is another important such discovery that we are going to be taking up in today's uh, uh, lecture and this is on a repe synthesis. So repe synthesis or repe chemistry uh, uh, refers uh, to a conversion of uh, uh, acetylene to a, a, a different uh, form of uh, compounds, functionalized com uh, versions of acetylene uh, which has been uh, carried out by Walter Repe in an industrial setting. Now one of the major challenges uh, uh, about uh, acetylene or conversion of acetylene to other uh, uh, functional uh, compounds uh, is the fact that uh, acetylene is highly explosive uh, and is extremely difficult uh, to handle. And that uh, the reason being acetylene uh, uh, in presence of oxygen is used for welding purpose and they form a, a fuel uh, a gas which can be ignited uh, 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 very easily and uh, is used and also a lot of heat is generated and is a perfect gas for carrying out all the welding uh, type applications. And hence because of this explosive and flammable nature of acetylene in presence of air any reaction or industrial scale utility of conversion of acetylene to other chemicals uh, uh, became a primary challenge and more so this was uh, mm, uh, uh, more difficult and more uh, uh, formidable a challenge about 100 years uh, back when the understanding as well as handling ability of organometallic compounds were even not as developed as it is today. So uh, Repe uh, mm, was a chemist at uh, 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 BASF Germany. So most of the chemistry uh, of Repe synthesis that I would be talking about today had been developed about 100 years back uh, in an industrial setting in uh, Germany. Uh, the goal mm, of uh, this repes uh, uh, was in being able to handle uh, acetylene under safe conditions uh, 
uh, and so far most of the time people uh, were using had, uh, uh, acetylene in small scale under low pressure uh, uh, even though uh, there were explosions and that time in acetylene chemistry explosions uh, was quite uh, common uh, uh, and to uh, take up this challenge what Repe did is Repe successfully uh, studied uh, uh, the uh, decomposition uh, of uh, acetylene in ignition experiments. So, this is something that uh, he took up uh, uh, in order to understand in order to overcome uh, the difficulty associated with handling of acetylene. What he studied is the reactivity of acetylene under ignition uh, conditions and then uh, uh, designed a special uh, test tube called Repe glasses which are uh, stainless steel spheres uh, with screw caps and that allowed uh, high pressure uh, experiments with acetylene uh, that could be carried out. And finally, he succeeded in handling acetylene at a very high pressure of about uh, 200 uh, atmosphere. So, this uh, is a, a very important contribution uh, of Repe in uh, uh, that led uh, uh, to the development, subsequent development of Repe chemistry. And now, uh, now acetylene, uh, uh, the primary source of acetylene is from uh, uh, coal, not like other alkanes or alkynes which comes from natural grass and uh, crude oil. Acetylene is exclusively uh, obtained uh, uh, from uh, uh, coal. So, the source of acetylene is different from that of the, uh, uh, the crude oil uh, and, and uh, but uh, however, however like alkanes and alkynes acetylene uh, also can be used for fuel as well as uh, because of its unsaturations uh, can also be uh, used for conversion uh, to other uh, chemical. Now, uh, one thing uh, at this juncture I should note that uh, these uh, utility of acetylene or other alkanes, alkynes uh, for uh, uh, as fuel for energy purpose is still something which in the present day uh, is becoming obsolete as uh, these are source of energy from non-renewable uh, uh, resources and finally at some point uh, uh, our earth is going to uh, be depleted of all of these natural uh, resources from where energy could uh, be made and hence right now uh, the focus is more on developing energy a, a, as a source from renewable resources which uh, are going to uh, be uh, lasting even uh, uh, forever uh, as compared to uh, that uh, uh, from the natural uh, non-renewable resources. However, uh, uh, one should uh, also understand that uh, the time uh, uh, when this chemistry of Repi was developed that was about 100 years uh, back or so when the perspective was different and hence uh, uh, so much of discrimination as to what is the source of energy it was not uh, as stringent as it is today and that time there was a significant uh, interest in developing uh, energy from non-renewable sources like crude oil or from uh, coal. Uh, so, Repi, let me uh, go uh, give a big a brief uh, background, historical background. Uh, so, Repi's interest uh, in acetylene uh, started uh, in 1928 in BASF and where he actually uh, found a convenient method for handling acetylene uh, because uh, the accidents and the explosions were quite common uh, at that point of uh, uh, time. And what uh, this allowed uh, uh, was that it opened door to a large number of interrelated reactions and all of them uh, 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 finally uh, 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 consolidated wise uh, was uh, uh, termed as repi chemistry. So, repi chemistry uh, uh, refers to a large number of compounds under different conditions uh, could, which could all be obtained from the source uh, parent, parent source of acetylene uh, uh, and uh, all of it together is uh, what is known as the Repi uh, synthesis or Repi chemistry. 
and uh, of the several processes uh, that were part of the rapey chemistry the most important one is this discovery in 1939 of polyvinyl pyrrolidone or PVP which is uh, a significant derivative in acetylene chemistry uh, and has been uh, synthesized using uh, rapey method. Uh, so, uh, what uh, this rapey synthesis did was open door to a large uh, number of rich uh, chemistry many of which uh, are uh, had uh, uh, industrial importance and hence uh, uh, was uh, extremely useful uh, you know, for carrying out uh, these uh, reactions. Uh, so, now uh, let us uh, uh, just uh, take a uh, look at some of the interesting uh, conversions which fall uh, in the gamut of uh, rapey synthesis. Uh, so, for example, reaction of acetylene with HCl and catalyst uh, would give vinyl chloride. Similarly, the reaction with HCN and catalyst nickel phosphide hole 4 would give vinyl cyanide with carbon monoxide water in presence of iron catalyst FeCO5 would give this phenol with alkoxy group in the para position with aldehyde with ketone will give propergyl alcohol propergyl alcohol and then with hydrogen palladium catalyst will give allylic alcohol proper or the, the reaction of acetylene with formaldehyde amine in presence of copper catalyst copper to Cu2 copper carbide would give this acetylene with Nr2 amine again with carbon monoxide water catalyst nickel bromide and copper iodide would give CH to CH CO to H with formaldehyde water and Cu2C2 copper iodide would give the reduced product with 
that when hydrogenated with carbon monoxide nickel catalyst and hydrogen would give the alcohol. So, what uh, is amazing about this is that so many uh, different chemistry or so many different product is emerging out uh, from uh, this simple acetylene. So, as if acetylene has given away uh, or open doors to uh, uh, the formation of so many different compounds uh, starting from the same acetylite source. Another interesting thing uh, uh, to note is that all of these chemistry uh, is uh, catalyzed by transition metals and there are uh, different uh, metals for example, that ranges from iron uh, to mercury uh, to nickel uh, to palladium uh, um, to copper uh, uh, nickel copper. So, what we see is that uh, uh, there are uh, transition metals which are playing an important uh, role in, uh, 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 in expanding uh, this uh, chemistry of acetylene uh, to different uh, 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 specialty uh, chemicals. So, obviously, uh, 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 the role of metal uh, which gives a flavor of organometallic chemistry and these have been catalyzed uh, by uh, uh, various uh, transition metals like iron, nickel, uh, copper uh, 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 that uh, successfully uh, carry out uh, uh, um, or participate in this whole range of, uh, 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 of catalysis. Uh, and all of these have been achieved uh, using this uh, acetylene which is uh, explosive uh, in uh, nature. Uh, now, we are going to uh, look at another interesting co uh, correlation uh, uh, apart from uh, the role of metals that we had observed, uh, uh, which is the type of reactions uh, that uh, is mainly observed over here. Uh, actually, rep rep chemistry uh, has four types of reactions, uh, 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 mainly a, a, a a, a starting with uh, vinylization, uh, we'll, I will discuss uh, in more details. Uh, four types of uh, reaction. Uh, one is uh, vinylization of alcohol. So, what are uh, vinylization reactions? Uh, the formations uh, of vinyl chloride or vinyl cyanide uh, or acid, these are examples of uh, vinylization reactions. Uh, the second uh, type of compound are reactions that uh, is observed are ethylenation catalytic T H N Y catalytic ethylenation of uh, aldehydes or ketones. And the example uh, of these are formation of these where the acetylic moiety is uh, uh, making a alkenyl uh, derivative. The third type of reactions uh, uh, are 
reactions with carbon C, uh, reactions with carbon monoxide CO reactions and uh, they uh, are part of the formations of uh, pro, uh, products like uh, uh, these hmm, where uh, the CO uh, uh, is forming. And the fourth fourth type of reactions are uh, cyclo oligomerization uh, and this also is an example of cyclo oligomerization reactions uh, uh, where uh, uh, like a uh, benzene moiety has been formed uh, from uh, 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 this acetylene. There are more examples of cyclo oligomerization reactions uh, uh, whereby uh, benzene uh, derivatives uh, can be uh, synthesized uh, uh, from uh, this acetylene. So, what we see is uh, if we step back and look uh, 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 at uh, the different utility uh, uh, that has emerged from lipid reaction is that a tremendous amount of different functionalized chemicals uh, which can be uh, obtained uh, uh, through functionalization of acetylene uh, have been achieved through episynthesis. The primary difficulty uh, in carrying out this reaction had been able to handle acetylene safely because acetylene is highly explosive and uh, uh, in presence of oxygen uh, forms of fuel gas which we all of us know is extensively used uh, uh, as uh, a welding gas. Uh, so, being able to handle acetylene safely is the primary uh, uh, challenge which had been overcome by uh, uh, REPI uh, and then having done that uh, it opened door to a wide variety of different uh, chemical reactions with different functionalized uh, uh, specialty chemicals that can be converted or obtained from uh, uh, acetylene. What is more important we have seen that all of these uh, require uh, uh, some sort of uh, metal uh, catalyst uh, and they uh, are where uh, the organometallic chemistry uh, comes into play and the metal catalyst that uh, are used uh, in reposynthesis are extremely uh, important ones uh, uh, like iron, uh, uh, nickel, co uh, copper these are first row transition metals very economic cheap and uh, uh, they, uh, they are the ones uh, which uh, carry out all these uh, transi uh, transitions. Secondly, uh, if one uh, uh, so the one sees that these are all organometallic catalysis, also if one step back and sees the type of compounds uh, uh, reactivity uh, 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 which has been uh, obtained out of acetylene, one can see that there are four types of uh, reaction. Uh, uh, first is vinylization where you make the vinyl derivative from acetylides. Second is catalytic ethanylation of aldehydes or ketone uh, which is shown over here. Third is carbon monoxide reactions, two, three examples of the same is shown. And last uh, but not the least but very important outcome of Lippi synthesis is cyclooligomerization where one can form benzene uh, 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 derivatives or even higher cyclooctatetraene derivatives from acetylene uh, uh, through this oligocyclomerization uh, reactions. So, I think uh, this uh, 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 the picture uh, gives a uh, uh, capability or uh, uh, and capacity of a repi reaction and how uh, 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 this had been uh, very important uh, 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 in making different chemicals about a century back and all how all of these were developed uh, uh, in industry uh, uh, about a century back. However, having said that uh, the bottom line however is that uh, acetylene is uh, obtained from coal and again uh, the coal is uh, a non-renewable uh, resource and uh, uh, in today's context at some point or other we have to uh, move beyond uh, non-renewable uh, source of energy and hence uh, uh, 
we have to uh, go beyond uh, uh, looking for alternatives uh, for carrying out uh, these reactions. But having said that, uh, these uh, presents an exciting domain of chemistry, exciting uh, domain of organometallic uh, compounds, the utility of organometallic compounds uh, in carrying out uh, uh, this synthesis in being able to uh, convert uh, acetylene to different chemicals uh, and then use it for industrial uh, good. So, with this uh, I uh, come to an end of today's lecture uh, where we have uh, looked at uh, an important applications uh, of uh, organometallic compound particularly with respect to uh, this rapi chemistry uh, which was uh, 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 solely a developed uh, uh, in uh, industry about a century back uh, whereby acetylene was converted uh, into several different important uh, chemicals. So, the rapi chemistry is important as mentioned earlier not only a, a from the perspective of being able uh, uh, to convert acetylene uh, to different feedstocks, but also uh, uh, from the perspective of the fact uh, 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 that uh, this has been an industrial contribution. Uh, 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 to the field of organometallic chemistry uh, uh, which uh, also says highlights the importance of organometallic uh, chemistry in the area of uh, catalytic uh, utility. So, in this particular reaction we have uh, uh, looked at uh, today how uh, Rapi was successful in designing Rapi glasses uh, or the containers uh, which can handle acetylene at very high pressure and uh, overcome the challenge of, uh, of explosion uh, as well as ignition uh, of handling acetylene. And he did so by studying uh, uh, the ignition of uh, acetylene uh, under different conditions uh, so as to come up uh, with the solution to be able to handle acetylene uh, at very higher pressure. Now, the outcome of such a diligent study uh, is uh, open for all to see and here in this slide as has been rightly shown that acetylene can be converted to different feedstock uh, using transition metal catalyst and uh, all of these we have also observed in this lecture can be grouped into four kinds of reaction uh, primarily namely the vinylation of acetylene and then catalytic alkylation of aldehydes and ketones. Uh, this is just an addition reaction, vinylation also is an addition reaction, uh, then uh, cyclooligomerization reaction and the reactions uh, with carbon uh, monoxide. So, uh, we are going to take up uh, uh, these interesting examples uh, in more details uh, uh, as we go through uh, these applications of uh, rapi chemistry a, and uh, uh, their usage uh, in industrial world in terms of developing uh, some of uh, the large scale industrial processes which has come out of the application of uh, rapi synthesis. So, more of this uh, and some more developments of rapi chemistry as we take up the topic in the lex lecture till then uh, goodbye and I look forward to being you uh, in the next lecture where we take up rapi synthesis in uh, a lot more details. Thank you. Thank you.